Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to go over a new feature inside of Greylog 3.1.1. Uh, we have Dan on the phone today. Dan, could you give us a little bit of an overview of yourself and what you're going to show? Hi, everyone. My name is Dan Torrey, and I'm a software engineer at Greylog working on the integrations team, which focuses on getting data from external sources into Greylog and expanding that over time, making it easier. Um, today, I'm going to show you a new AWS Kinesis and CloudWatch input that we recently built and released in the 3.1.1 Greylog release. And why would, Dan, why would you people want to use this Kinesis and CloudWatch plugin? Well, that's a great question. So many people that use AWS use two key services to process and handle log messages in AWS. AWS's central log repository is called CloudWatch. And many, many software companies and IT companies push log messages to CloudWatch. And um, those could be application logs. They could be network access logs, flow logs from, from AWS, which, which are essentially packet logs. So, Many companies push all of these log messages to CloudWatch, and it's very useful to get those log messages into Greylog so that you can do analysis on them, reporting, views, dashboards, alerting, all of the goodness that, that Greylog provides. And this new input we built really helps out with the setup of that. So one of the challenges that we faced in the past and that some of the other products in the log management landscape have faced is the, the, the challenge of getting real log, real time logs from CloudWatch. Um, it's not really possible um, to effectively read real time logs directly from CloudWatch because there are some technicalities with that, um, with maintaining how far you've read, if, if you restart the server, um, or you stop reading, you have to pick up where you left off, and direct to CloudWatch just really doesn't work for that. And so um, what we've done in the past is used AWS Kinesis, which is a real-time stream processing service that AWS provides. And CloudWatch natively has support for streaming log messages to Kinesis so that other products and services can read those messages in real time. So the summary of all of that is that you really need Kinesis to read real-time log messages from AWS CloudWatch. And the setup to get CloudWatch pushing logs to Kinesis is fairly complicated. There, there's something like five steps and um, a lot of different things that you have to get right. And um, many experienced persons are able to do that pretty quickly. Um, but many times when we, we go back to it and try to do it, um, sometimes we make mistakes. And so this new input that we've built helps with that by providing an automated setup, if you choose to use it, which can, given a CloudWatch log group, automatically set up the subscription needed to push the logs to Kinesis in real time. And then the input can then directly pull those messages from Kinesis. So in just a few minutes of setup, all on the gray log side, if you provide a user with sufficient AWS access, then you can specifically pull log messages from uh, a CloudWatch log group and we'll do all the, the setup to get um, Kinesis um, pushing those logs over to Greylog. Um, so I will guide you through that here shortly, but that's just a quick summary of of why that's valuable. Oh, that, that's great, Dan. Thanks for thanks for explaining that to everybody on the phone. Um, you did mention that some of the other people in the industry have that same problem, some of the other vendors out there for log management. Are we the first ones that are kind of getting this automated setup of AWS, making it easier for the end user? Well, I can't speak unequivocally about about the market in general, but I, I I'm I'm pretty sure this is a a new thing, and 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 we think it's really going to help people out. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting some feedback from the community on it. 
Awesome. And then that, that kind of leads to my next question. You said the community. So is this a part of the open source distribution as well as the enterprise side? Yeah, I'm really glad that you asked that. This will be, and this is an open source feature, and so it's it's available for use for everybody, and you can even dive into the source if you want to. Awesome, great. Thanks, Dan. All right, well, uh, yeah, if you can show us exactly how to set this up and the, the ease of that, that would be fantastic. Awesome, sounds great. So, um, since we need to add an external source to Graylog to get log messages from, which is gonna be AWS CloudWatch, um, we're going to have to add an input. And in this example, we are going to pull AWS flow logs, which are network packet logs that show communication throughout uh, a VPC in AWS. So I'm going to start by going to the inputs page in Graylog. And we now have a new type of input, which is called AWS Kinesis and CloudWatch. So I'll choose it, I'll launch it. And this is one of the, the key differences for this input. As in the past, our, our regular inputs that you add to Graylog just displays a single form with a bunch of fields on it. Um, and then you just have to try to get everything right in one shot. But with this approach, we, we are gonna step you through the setup process, um, ask you for details, um, validate them along the way and uh, and guide you. So this first page is is asking for some basic details to get started adding the input. Um, of course, the name of the input, the AWS key and credentials, and which AWS region you're targeting. One of the challenges we've we've heard from users in the past is asking, well, I know I need to provide an AWS user, but what permissions do I need to authorize the user for? So what we've done to help with that is we provide on screen a list of the permissions you need to authorize your user for to take care of this entire, to, to authorize this user to complete the whole setup flow. So here we have a list of all the permissions. So it's, it's easy enough to just copy and paste this over to a policy in AWS, um, check it, um, adjust any direct resource access as per your own security policy. Um, that helps you to get started. So I'm gonna call this input AWS flow logs. And I'm gonna provide my access key and my secret and specify a region. And by the way, if, if you don't have an access key or secret, um, these can be created directly within AWS on a particular IAM user for programmatic access. So now that I've specified all those details, I'm gonna click authorize and choose stream. So um, as I mentioned earlier, this, this setup to pull messages from CloudWatch requires that you use Kinesis and you may not have set up a Kinesis stream and all that subscription stuff we talked about, and, and this is where we can help. So I don't see the stream that I need because I haven't created it yet, so I'm gonna let Graylog do all of that setup for me. So I'm gonna click on the right side, set up Kinesis automatically. And when I get to this page, I have to provide a stream name. So I'm just gonna call it Flow logs, um, dance flow logs. And this is where I pick the very specific CloudWatch log group that has the flow logs in them. And this is really handy because in the past, you'd have to know what this log group name is and, and double check it in AWS, but we actually pull your full list of log groups here, um, which is very useful. Nice. So, and I'm about to begin the automated setup, and the automated setup is gonna do three things. First thing it's gonna do is create a Kinesis stream with one shard, which is, which is the smallest possible stream you can create in AWS. Um, the, the CloudWatch group will then have to be authorized to push log messages to Kinesis, and as with any AWS service that, that talks to other AWS services, 
you have to provide a policy so that service A can talk to service B. In this case, CloudWatch can push logs to Kinesis. And that's where some of the complexity lies in setting this up. So we're gonna create that IAM role automatically for you. And um, then finally, we'll create the needed subscription to get those logs flowing over to Kinesis so we can read them into Graylog. Um, and you, you might be thinking, well, Greylog's going to create some stuff in my AWS environment. Um, I want to be sure that, that I know what they're creating. And you'll see on the next page that we display a list of the resources we created and the, uh, the ARNs so you can, you can know exactly what was done. So I clicked the, the button to create. And now the automated setup is performing the three steps that we talked about. And since these can take some time to do, we, we break them out and we track the progress of each individually. So when creating the Kinesis stream, we also have to wait for that stream to become fully initialized and ready in AWS, and that takes some time. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> the stream is ready. Um, subscription policy is created, and then we just have to wait finally for the, uh, the final subscription to go through. Awesome. Everything was successful here. Um, go ahead, Nick. That seems to be extremely fast and easy to do. I mean, really, you entered about two different things, a key and, and a password, and you pretty much click next a couple times. So, so really the idea is that you, you can try it out, and you can even look at the things that were created in AWS for an example. So it just it lets you get started really, really fast and takes, takes the pain away from getting this set up. Even our developers love using it. Um, when we need to use it for our use cases because it's, we just know what we need to create, but but going to execute all the commands is just too much. I mean, AWS, they've done a really great job of providing both programmatic and command line interface access to all their services. And they really emphasize that you should automate where you can and um, string these commands together. And that's exactly what we've done, so. Oh, that's awesome. So after we set this up, um, this CloudWatch subscription publishes log messages from CloudWatch to Kinesis in batches every five or 10 minutes. And so that, that can take some time for that first batch of logs to come over to Kinesis. Um, so the way we handle that in our setup is we have a page that, that has a little timer and it checks to see if the logs have come yet. And, and you can keep checking and checking and it, well, it'll check automatically, but if, if, you, if you just wanna see are they there yet, you can just click the check now button. Um, and if you're an advanced user and you, you know, you already know you've got everything set up right, you don't want to, uh, you don't wanna wait. We, we have a, a way that you can, you can skip over and keep going. Um, the next step that I'm gonna show you is called the health check. So this is a step where, where Greylog pulls a sample log message from the Kinesis stream and checks the format of it and makes sure that it's an expected log format and it's a message that we, if it's a message that we know the format type for, we'll just automatically go ahead and parse it. Like AWS flow logs, we know what those messages look like so we automatically detect it and parse it. No extra setup required by you. Um, if it's just a plain old arbitrary CloudWatch log message, maybe it's from your application, um, maybe somewhere else, we can still pull that over. We just don't automatically perform any parsing on it, but you, you can read it in. Um, another really useful piece of this that was missing in the past AWS support is direct raw Kinesis message reading. So like a raw text string written to a Kinesis message. Um, many folks use Kinesis to read, to process log messages through a, a chain of processing and we now have support to read those as well. So let's go ahead and check. And awesome, so we've already got our log message and Great, just as we expected, it's a flow log message. So we've parsed a sample of the message to display on the screen here. 
And we can see that we've got a protocol, we've got some IP addresses and ports and all the good stuff we want. So that's fantastic. So the health check was successful. Now I'm gonna review and finalize. This is where we summarize everything for you. We tell you what kind of log message it was um, and all the details that you've chosen along the way. And then finally, I'm gonna complete the CloudWatch setup, let it save. And now we have the, the classic gray log input available here on the inputs page. And this AWS flow logs input is, is gonna start up, do its initialization, and then it's gonna start reading log messages straight into gray log. So that initialization might take a minute or two. Um, Nick, do you have any other questions as we're waiting for that to start up? Well, I did, you were, you were explaining the automatic parsing, since we can detect that this is a flow log right out of the gate. Um, you mentioned that we have a lot of the parsing built in for that. So that's gonna replace stuff like the different extractors or the pipeline processing rules. Is that right? Yeah, that's a, that's a really great point. So th that's really part of the, the goal with this is that we r reduce the setup steps required to set up Greylog and, and get the initial value from Greylog. So um, if there's a chance where we can remove a need to have to set up additional pipeline rules, that's, that's fantastic. So right now we support automatic detection on AWS flow log messages. Uh, raw Kinesis messages and raw uh, CloudWatch messages. But if there's a particular AWS service that you're using that pushes a certain type of log message, or if there's some standard log message format that you're trying to import through here and you notice it's not supported, then please do give us feedback on that because we can always improve that uh, by opening an issue in GitHub, or you can submit a PR um, and submit that code yourself. Um, but we do welcome the feedback because we look forward to improving this over time. Okay. okay, so now the input is running and pulling log messages in um, at a very, very fast rate. So I'm just gonna show the log messages that we've received for that particular input and um, we can see them all here. So parse log message, we automatically include not only the fields themselves, the actual log data, but we also include the um, metadata around that. So which Kinesis stream it came from, which CloudWatch log group, if, we, if, if it did come from a CloudWatch log group. Um, I think that's about it. Nice, I like how they're formatted nicely. They'll help with creating some basic dashboards and things like that we could probably share out to the community. That's awesome. Cool. Is there anything else on your mind from what you've seen so far? No, I just, I appreciate the time today. So far? No, I just, I appreciate the time today of, of, of taking it and showing us how all this works together. And uh, hope everybody that sees this video can obviously give you guys feedback as well. But, Fantastic. Uh, thanks again for your time, Dan, and look forward to the next development that we make. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, everyone. I would also like to thank the other engineers and folks at Greylog that dedicated their time and talent to help build this AWS integration. There was quite a lot of work involved from lots of different aspects and um, just wanted to give a shout out and say thank you to everyone.